One of the biggest frustrations I hear about using social media for your business or for your brand is that it takes too much time and it just takes too much effort. But it is one of the most cost-effective and powerful ways to market your business, so it kind of makes sense that you do have to put some effort in. But having said that, there are a few tricks to saving yourself time and sanity, and my key is being really, really, really organized. I know a lot of companies and brands operate without a content calendar, but I absolutely swear by mine, and I ensure that my clients are using them too to make sure that they're getting out the right messages when they need to get them out. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up an effective content calendar and a few different apps and tricks that I use to keep all of my social organized. And below this video, there's a link to download my exact template for my content calendar so you can start using it for your business as well. So let's get started. When it comes to getting my content organized, the elements and requirements that I have to have in every brand strategy and content calendar are key events and dates, content categories, influencer outreach, launches or campaigns, and key brand messages. I'll get into all of these in just a second when I show you my content calendar, but first let's talk about key brand messages. Key brand messages are pieces of content, sales, or promotions that you know you need to be promoting consistently across your social channels, and you don't want to have to think about promoting on a day-to-day -day basis. They're not dynamic content pieces, they're what I like to refer to as static content pieces, so you can bulk schedule them ahead of time. This is how to do it. Hootsuite is my social media management platform of choice, and you'll see just underneath where you compose a tweet, there's a little calendar and it says scheduling. So if you go in there, you can schedule one tweet at a time, or you can go to bulk message uploader. So if you click on this, you can bulk schedule messages for months in advance and bulk schedule your key messages. At the bottom here, you'll download the sample CSV file which is the format that you have to uh, upload your bulk scheduled messages in. So for example, this is the layout of it. You can put in the date and the exact time you want to schedule a message for, add in your text, which is, this is a template from Hootsuite, and then add in the link. And it'll automatically turn it into a short link when you upload it into the uh, dashboard. So what I do is I bulk schedule all of my YouTube videos in advance so that I have one or two going out every week. So if I choose the file, I'm going to choose YouTube bulk and ensure that the format is month, day, year before you upload it. And when you submit it, it'll show up in your scheduled messages. As you can see, I have a ton of scheduled messages here, and they're all key brand messages that I've scheduled using the bulk message uploader in Hootsuite. Now for the content calendar. A few things to keep in mind. Everybody's different, and everybody's platforms are different, so you can tweak this to your liking and which platforms you use most often. Also keep in mind that I don't plan out every single thing that I post. Like I said before, this is for the main messages that I know need to be out in a timely manner and things that are important to the brand or to sales to be pushing on social. I do still leave a lot of room for being spontaneous and for live social interactions as well. Here's a look at my content calendar and how I lay it out. So you can see that I have my main platforms in here and this is where I populate the content that's gonna be going in for the week. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I have my notes on the far right hand side, so that's anything that I might forget about what's going on during that month. My categories breaks down my content uh, into different uh, categories to make sure that I'm not continuously posting the same things over and over again. So product is color coded in green, inspiration, education, any launches or campaigns that I've got going on, a special event or date, and when my newsletters are going out. I also have an influencers category for each week. Uh, I write down different influencers that I want to make sure I engage with or I initiate outreach to uh, during the week. So for example, uh, the week of November 30th, I had an event that I was speaking at on Thursday evening, so I wanted to make sure that I promoted it, promoted ticket sales on Monday, and I had it noted on Thursday so I would remember to live um, do live social interactions from the event as well on Snapchat, Twitter, etc. 
Uh, color coded in green is the recording for revenue launch. That's my product launch, my course launch. Um, so that was across all social platforms. And then that's bulk scheduled as well across social platforms for the next month. And the launching campaign for that on social media is running until the 17th of December. And then I have an educational piece on Thursday, which is in a, link, a, a link in an article from Forbes, which I posted on Facebook and on Twitter. And then on Friday, I wanted to post something fun and inspirational, so I posted a graphic to Facebook, Twitter, and to Instagram. Uh, and so for the rest of the month, I'll be filling that out kind of week by week, but anything that, that I know is coming up, I make sure I put in here for the month in advance. For example, I have a blab uh, coming up with Steve Dotto on the 17th. I have my email newsletters going out every single Tuesday. And then, of course, any special events or dates are noted in red as well. You can also add in specific times that you want to put out content. It's not something that I do, but if that makes you feel better, you can always add, add that into your content calendar as well to make sure that you're putting things out at the exact right time that you want to. The other element that I use for scheduling social media content is breaking it down day by day in Smartsheet, which is an incredible tool for organizing your content. So for example, this was from Monday, December 1st when I was launching Recording for Revenue. Um, so basically I have all the different platforms here and this is a work in progress just so I can show you how it works. Um, but basically the day that I'm uh, working on, the platforms, the task name goes in here, and then the exact copy I'm going to be using, so it's all in here and I can just copy and paste it, the link that I'm using, and then you can um, write down the attached media that you're going to be including and actually attach it in here. So you'll see that the uh, photo and graphic for recording for revenue that I was posting to Facebook is actually uploaded in here, so anyone can access it and download it and schedule it into Facebook. I also make sure that I put in the published date and the published time, and once it's done and checked off and scheduled, I just click done and it's crossed off my list, and anyone on my team who's working on it is able to see it as well. I highly recommend using Smartsheet, especially if you work in a team. It just makes it easier to know what content's been scheduled, on which platform, um, and it also just keeps your links and your attachments and your graphics and your videos all organized in one place. I also use Latergram to schedule my Instagram videos and my Instagram photos, and I rely on Facebook natively to schedule posts and photos and videos to my brand page. To schedule a post on Facebook, you simply do this. You put in whatever the text is that you want, you can add in your media, and then you go down here where it says publish, and instead of publishing right away, you go to schedule, and let's say I wanna schedule this for the 7th of December at 11.30 a.m. And then you schedule it. And you'll see that it says there's one scheduled post. You go into your publishing tools, into scheduled posts, and you'll see that it's right here. And then you can make any edits that you need to. You can reschedule it, um, you can delete it, and you can also edit it if you go into this view here. If it's time to get your social organized and to save yourself a little bit of time and sanity, like I said, then make sure you download my content calendar below this video and start using it for your business. I've also put some other tutorials that will help you get organized when it comes to your business below this video, and I've put links to all the websites and the apps that I mentioned in this tutorial. If you like this video, hit the like button below, subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you want exclusive tips and tricks that I only share in email, make sure that you subscribe to my weekly emails. The link is below this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Happy organizing. <laughs>